I am Sandy. Welcome to my channel. In particular, this playlist, my weekly faith life vlog in five minutes, give or take a few seconds. I upload to YouTube every Thursday morning between 8 and 9 central and share the links with my Facebook and Twitter pages. This playlist is exactly what it says it is. It is just me talking through, working through life, trying to see all things around me, not through rose-colored glasses, but heroes colored glasses. I hope you'll join me on my Christian journey. I hope I inspire your own Christian journey journey. Please feel free to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, or certainly you can just come back organically as the spirit moves you. All right, let's start this week's episode. Good morning. Hi, I am Sandy. Happy Thursday and welcome to another episode of my weekly five minute faith life vlog. Today brings us episode 16 and I want to talk about a phrase. I want to talk about what it means to be a child of God. We are all children of God. We are all sons and daughters of God. What does that mean? Have you ever considered that? As I continue on my Christian journey, this is just an idea that has sort of, I don't know, planted its seed inside my head and I just, I keep tending it. And maybe it's because I lost my own father this year. I am just feeling a hunger for a father, my spiritual father. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think God uses all incidents, all circumstances to try to push us in um, other directions. Uh, but we just kind of get in our own way and circumvent those directions. But that's probably another vlog. Child of God. When I think of the word child, I think of a small person, someone new and green and curious and exuberant and resilient and easy to laugh, easy to love, also looks to a, a figurehead, looks to somebody for safety, comfort, love, support, approval. I also think of someone who uh, is a bit unbridled, right? Children like to push the envelope. They like to push boundaries. So uh, by that virtue, they are looking for instruction. They're looking for the difference between right and wrong. And I feel like all of those things resonate with who we are as sons and daughters to God. And when I started thinking of it that way, I really liked the idea of that. I really warmed up to that. And I feel like it sort of took a, a brick off the wall that I, I sometimes feel between me and God. And some words that you don't associate with children, you don't associate the word um, jaded, cynical, distrusting, like world weary. These things aren't really the essence of children. So I think we have that working in our favor as being children of God. Here's the other thing. So when you're a child, in biological terms, in earthly terms, I mean, that's just one stage of your existence on this planet. You're, you're born, you're an infant, then you're a child, then you're an adolescent, then you're a teenager, then you're a uh, young adult, middle-aged, elderly. I mean, it's just a stage. But when you're a child of God, no matter what age you are, you are a child. Again, I just, I really like the idea of moving forward on my Christian journey from the perspective of being a child, not childish, just the essence of a child. I think that will lend itself well to going through the Bible, understanding teachings better, understanding my purpose better. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know what else to say about that. I, I like the idea that I'm always going to be a child. It actually is the best of both worlds. As a grown adult and having been through some things in my life, I have wisdom and understanding. But because I'm a child of God, I also get to be a child. That's all I really want to say on that. Again, what do you think? How do you feel about that? Does that, does that give you new perspective? Have you thought this yourself? Please feel free to, to share your comments. I'm still kind of figuring it out too, but I'm going to stop talking now and end it here. Have an amazing Thursday. God bless. Hope I see you next week and bye.